Hello, this is Steve from Cambridgeshire Garden and Property Maintenance. Got another short video for you here. Um, showing a, a job we were called out to clear some uh, wasteland. Uh, as you can see from the video, it's pretty overgrown. There's a lot of brambles, a lot of nettles, a lot of shrub, weeds, grass. Um, also, there's a lot of objects, a lot of wood, um, concrete, rubble, fence posts buried underneath uh, this site. Um, it's the first time we've used this billy goat brush cutter for a clearance, uh, a ground clearance job like this. We usually use a standard steel uh, handheld brush cutters and strimmers and maybe hedge cutters. Um, and then obviously when we get it all down, rake it all up, bag it up, remove the waste. For this job we decided to try this, uh, this billy goat uh, petrol brush cutter. Um, it took a little while just to get used to the controls of the machine and the feel of the machine and the handling of it. But after a few minutes, um, it, you know, it's, 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 it found it very easy to use. Um, it made very, very light work of the job. Uh, it managed to cut through very, very heavy undergrowth, um, even sort of uh, branches up to two to three inches diameter. Um, some of them were over sort of six and a half, seven feet tall. And uh, the machine just cut through it with ease. What we found with this machine is that um, there was very, very little waste to remove from the site because it really mulched it up into a very, very fine pulp. Um, you can just see the machine going over here, how it just literally obliterates anything in its way. And also what's good about this, the head of the machine um, will angle it and move and contour with the, uh, with the ground. Um, a really good safety feature of this machine is, like I said, this site had a lot of um, objects buried in the undergrowth. Uh, one of the advantages of this machine, if it hits one of these objects, it will just cut the machine out dead. So if there's like uh, bricks or tyres or wood, um, it will just, it, and, and your machine hits it, it will just stop the machine dead. So there's no damage to the uh, crankshaft or the engine. If you hit an object, you just pull it away, restart the machine. Uh, this part is just showing a few photos of before. Uh, you can see how dense and heavy the undergrowth is on this, uh, on this clearance job. Um, and obviously, like I said before, there's a lot of stuff buried under the undergrowth. There's a lot of roof tiles, there's railway sleepers, tyres, concrete, old fence posts, fence panels, benches, uh, boxes. Um, a lot of waste has been left on this site and uh, allowed to overgrow um, over a period of time. You can see, um, yeah, these, you know, these various photos around this site that were taken before the job. Um, apparently, this site was only cleared about a year ago. Um, I presume the, 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 the company that cleared it didn't spray any. Uh, herbicide afterwards <clears throat> you can see now some of the finished uh, the finished photos of the site how low the uh, how low the uh, machines managed to get it um, literally mulches it into a very very fine mulch just takes a few times to go over it to keep it this low um, but you can see now how clear it is compared to those before photos and the videos that were showing you the machine in action just showing you around the site now you can see some of the pile of rubbish there that we managed to find in the undergrowth um, there's Sam just going around picking anything out of the site, but you can see like the, the photos here, there's a major difference uh, at the end of the job. Thanks for watching.